Hi everybody, thanks for checking out my review for this Mr. Gummy Giant Gummy Bear Mold. I'm, I'm always looking for fun presents to give people um, and I just happened to stumble across a giant gummy bear mold and decided I really wanted one of these. Um, so I did some research and I specifically chose the Mr. Gummy for a few reasons. Um, the biggest reason is that I wanted one that could stand up and so a lot of the other gummy bears looked like they had to sit flat. I don't know, it's not, I don't know if it's a big deal to you, but to me I wanted it to be able to stand up because I think that looks cool because I'm wanting to give it as presents. Uh, the other thing is I really wanted the silicone for a couple reasons. One, I wanted to be able to use it for multitasking. I wanted to, to actually be able to bake in that too. I think it'd be fun to have uh, bear shaped cakes. So I was like, eh, you know, dual purpose. That, so I might as well get the one that's better. Uh, the plastic ones as well looked like they were really hard to get the gummies out without breaking them. So some people would actually cut a knife around it and then it would kind of mess up the edges and I didn't like that. So I wanted something softer that you can, you can peel it out. That's what I'm hoping. I haven't tried this yet. We'll try it together. Um, so th that was the reason that I decided to, to go for the Mr. Gummy. Um, so in the box it's pretty simple. It's your gummy mold. Um, it's, the box itself has recipes. So it gives you a couple recipes here. You can also find tons of so vegan option for you people. Um, it's got tons of, of recipes online that you can find too for these giant gummies um, that you can use more natural ingredients. And then the instructions, step-by-step -step instructions are there. Basically you just heat it up, pour it in, let it cool down. Uh, it also came with some of these Mr. Gummy gift bags which I was actually surprised at, at how nice they were. I was expecting like these just really flimsy plastic but it's a they're nice quality just a little just a little extra Mr. Gummy present there um, so I, I, because I plan on giving it away I thought that was cool too and it didn't cost anything more so um, without further ado let's go ahead and get the recipe together I'm just going to follow the instructions right here um, so basically uh, you mix it cold yeah so you mix mix it cold then you heat it up a little bit until everything's dissolved um, make sure it's it's completely fluid and then pour the mixture into your silicone mold. So I'm gonna mix it up um, and then when we're ready to pour I'll come back and we'll go from there. See you in a minute. Alright so I mixed it just according to the directions it was uh, three packages of jello that was the six ounce packages and then 12 packages of the quarter ounce unflavored gelatin. Um, that stuff's kind of expensive. So I think I'm gonna try, there's other recipes out there. I think some of them use pectin and there's some other ones. But anyway, so basically you just mix it all together really good in, with the water and then you start adding heat to it until everything's really dissolved. I think we're, we're good and dissolved. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this. I'm gonna try to do it. I have to do it behind the camera so you can see what's going on. So uh, let's see how careful we can pour this. So that's about half, halfway full. Um, and one thing I noticed with a lot of them is that they get these bubbles in them. I don't really like those bubbles, so I'm gonna try to tap it and see if I can get those bubbles to come up to the top. Uh, I don't know if that does anything. It doesn't really look like it. Um, so I gotta figure out the secret to that. We'll see how smooth it, it ends up though. So now we'll just keep pouring the rest in. Steady. All right, <laughs> so there's that's that. Um, well, it tastes pretty good. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna wait, um, and you gotta wait for about five minutes or, or so for it to cool a little bit in here. Then I'll pop it in the in the fridge, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'll be back with you. I think it's gonna take. It'll probably take several hours to cool. So as soon as it's cool and it's ready. I'll come back and we'll pull it out. All right, so we are ready to pull this out of the mold. I let it cool pretty much all night long. Um, it, it, I think it was ready before then, but you know. Oh, a little tip. This thing, when it's full, it's silicone, it's flexible, so it's really difficult to pick up like this because it kind of folds in half. So before you pour the jello in, put it on a plate. <laughs> <laughs> that'll save you a lot of trouble. Learn from my mistakes. Put it on a plate and then you can just lift the plate into the into the uh, refrigerator. So uh, that'll make it easier. But anyway, let's separate this thing and see how it goes. So I'm just going to push down here and just kind of separate it out. It pulls away real nice and easy. 
which is what I wanted. This is why I wanted the flexible silicone. Let's see if we can. Nice. So I'm going to be a little careful around the ears. Don't want to break those. All right. So the edges are done and you can see it's real. It's actually super easy to pull out. I'm just going to fold this back. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> look how cool that is. Goodness, look at that thing. That is so cool. So the, the bubbles all floated to the surface and they gave it this layer back here, which I actually think is pretty cool. So uh, I'm okay with that. So there's our gummy. It is, that's really neat. I am, I'm super impressed with it. Really easy to make. Um, and the design is great. I think the design is perfect. It looks just like a gummy bear, um, but it stands up. It's good. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I actually wanna try and uh, make a cake out of this thing. So I'm going to mix up a cake because I'm having fun. And uh, let's see what that looks like when it comes out. So I mixed up a cake mix exactly like it says on the box. I filled it to about here. I just wanted to cover the ears. Um, and it's obviously it's going to puff up. So I'm not 100% sure how much is going to puff up, but I have some left over that will probably get me about half full. So we'll fill that one uh, and we'll cook that one too. And you can kind of see the difference between the fill levels. But I wanted you to see how much it's just into the ears. Um, and this is a lot easier to pick up because it's a little more dense than the, than the gummy was and not quite as full. So you probably don't need to put it on a cookie tray or anything to get it in, into the oven. Um, so, all right, that's that. Let's go ahead and cook it up. All right, so we're done. Uh, you can see it, it was probably a little overfilled. I did want some sort of a bow on the back just to kind of give it a more natural look rather than just totally flat. Um, but I think I'm gonna underfill the next one and kind of see how it goes. Oh, and I just broke it. All right, so um, that was my fault. But we get to taste it, tastes good. <laughs> Um, all right, so we're going to take it out now. Just for those of you who are wondering, uh, it took about 40 minutes to cook. It was a pretty long cooking process. Um, and then I just let it cool to the touch. It's still pretty warm. You should probably let it cool as much as you can before you pull it out. Um, but I have some more that I want to cook and I want to turn my oven off. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot now. Looks like it's pulling away pretty nicely. So I'm going to try to get my finger in there. And I'm just going to pull all the way down to try to release this thing. And we're going to tip it upside down. And unfortunately, I think I'm going to lose uh, the part that I just cracked when I was goofing around with it. So let's see if it, let's see if we can fold it. Oh, uh, see, I, I didn't let it cool enough. That's all right, though. Let's see if we can get the rest of it out. So that one didn't work too good. <laughs> um, but let's, I'm going to clean this up and uh, we're going to give it another shot. I'll let the next one cool down all the way because that's still pretty hot. Uh, and we'll see how that one does. We're back. This one is looking a lot more promising, but kind of as I was thinking, uh, it didn't spread up to the ears. So I would say probably do it between the first and the second. Um, just get a little bit right here in the ear uh, and it will should puff up. Um, but the non-stick spray, the cooking spray, was a really good idea. It looks like it's, it's actually lifting out fairly easily, so I'm just going to carefully remove it. There we go, that looks better. So, he's got no ears, maybe he's a dog, I don't know, we can fix it. <laughs> um, but, so it proves the point, that actually looks really cute. So, and he's got, it's got some shape on the back, which is what I wanted, I didn't really want a, just a flat back like the gummy bear. Um, and the detail actually turned out great, so, we can decorate this up and it should be good to go. I might have to flatten it out so that it stands up a little bit better. Um, but, or if you do two of them, I think what I'll do is I'll do two of them and then just kind of set them that way because, you know, that's cute, whatever. <laughs> anyway, so it works great uh, for the cakes as well. As long as you uh, give it a little spray, you can see, oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Um, and then don't manhandle it because it's a cake and not a gummy bear. <laughs> oh, anyway, this is just an experiment to see if the mold works. The mold works great. It, uh, you can see it releases just fine. The gummy, which is its main purpose, turned out awesome. The cake, take a little bit of practice, but we'll get there. It'll look good. Um, but the, the mold works awesome. So I give this thing five stars, and I think you're going to be really happy with it.